Hey, welcome to the video uh, today. Today I'm going to talk about graphs of tangent and cotangent. And um, we'll do a couple of examples, changing the period and some phase shift. Um, and then I'll show you just the regular tangent and cotangent. And then there's a few practice, exam practice problems at the end. And if you follow the link to the WISC, you can see the answers of that. Um, so here we go. So uh, notice here that I have the unit circle. And I've, uh, we're going to use the unit circle just to graph the regular tangent and cotangent and then make a statement about their periods because they're a little bit different than sine and cosine. So uh, over here, let's see my panel show up. Over here we have the unit circle and we're going to do y equals tangent x. Now if we remember that tangent x is equal to the sine over the cosine, then this is just using an identity, then we're going to end up uh, with some asymptotes because cosine of x can't be zero. Um, otherwise, well, we'll destroy the universe. <laughs> so we want to make sure that we denote those asymptotes wherever the cosine of x is equal to zero. So we're looking at the, y co the x coordinate. The x coordinate is zero here at pi over two. So at pi over two, I'm going to have a vertical asymptote. And then again at 3 pi over 2, I'm going to have a vertical asymptote. And um, if I kept going around the circle, I would have asymptotes at each pi over 2 radian. So let's just think about what's going on here. Um, when sine at, at the 0, when we at 0, we've got sine, which is 0, over cosine, which is 1, which is 0, 0. Um, here I have positive coordinates. So sine and cosine are both positive coordinates. I have to approach this asymptote. So I actually have to go up like this. And in the, this right here is the fourth quadrant. This is negative angles. Negative angles is down here. Notice that I have opposite angles. One is, one is a positive, one is negative. And if I divide a negative by a positive, I have a negative answer. So negative is below the x-axis. I have to approach the asymptote. And there it is. That's the graph of tangent. Um, and this is going to repeat itself just like all the other ones. So we're going to cross in between. And we're going to keep going like this. And that's our graph of tangent. And that's all there is to it. Um, one of the things that we notice, the period, the period is the length between any two asymptotes. So this is the period. So the period of, notice here that the period of tangent is pi. In fact, it's pi over b. In this case, b is 1. Um, and that's different than the sine and cosine because the sine and cosine was 2 pi over b. So we're, just, we're really just uh, dividing it by 2. All right, so... That is our tangent and our cotangent, y equals cotangent, is cosine over sine. So using the same idea here, and except sine of x is the one that's going to give us our vertical asymptotes. That's going to be at 0 and pi. So I'm going to go ahead and put my asymptotes at 0 and pi. And then actually in every pi, we're going to have asymptotes. So what does cotangent look like? Well, let's take a look at um, this here. And notice here, pi over 2, pi over 2 is going to be 0 because we're going to have sine over cosine, y over x, um, x over y, or I'm sorry, cosine over sine, it's x over y. So we're going to be 0 at pi over 2. Now, in between pi over 2 and 0, we're right here in the first quadrant. And in the first quadrant, both of them are positive. So I've got to go, I've got to stay above the x-axis and go towards the asymptote. And then on the second quadrant, they're opposites. So that's going to give me a negative because a negative divided by a positive. Actually, it's the other way around. Right. Yeah, that's right. Negative divided by positive is a negative, so that's below the x-axis because we're talking about y is negative. And then this just continues the same way. Now the cosine also has a period of pi because it's also the distance between any two asymptotes. So the period of cotangent, I think I said cosine, I meant cotangent, 
is pi over b. Um, and if we were going to change the, the period at all, we would just change, um, we would just find the period and that would be where our, um, where our um, new asymptotes are and where our, our um, how far apart between the asymptotes are. And notice that halfway in between the asymptotes is where we're going to split these up. So let's take a look at a few examples of when we change the period and maybe even shift um, using some phase shift. Okay, so here's an example. Sketch the graph of y equals 2, 10, 2x. And, you know, honestly, the 2 doesn't do much to it. It, it may um, stretch it, you know, vertically, which just makes it kind of skinnier. So if we have a big number, it kind of stretches it out and makes it skinnier. If we have a, a small number, it kind of pushes it down and makes this curve kind of flatter as it goes towards the, the um, x-axis. Uh, but, but I'm not sure many teachers really require you to really get these, des these perfect. If you're going to do it perfect, um, just use one point on the uh, unit circle in that interval and then plug that in and get your point. But I'm doing this without using a table of values because I just think it's a little easier to sketch them. Um, okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to first, we're going to find the period and the period is pi over b. So the period's pi over 2. And what we're going to do for tangent is we know that our regular tangent graph starts at, we have a, a vertical asymptote at pi over 2. So since the verse, first vertical asymptote was at pi over 2, our new vertical asymptote is going to be at pi over 4. And how did I get that? Well, I got that by taking the previous vertical asymptote for tan x, which was pi over 2, and I divided it by b, which was pi over, b was 2, and that gave me pi over 4. Now the period is pi over 2 units, so I know that from here to here, this is pi over 2 units, so here's my new one. And in fact, if you wanted to, just take all the vertical asymptotes and divide by b. That shows you where the new vertical asymptotes are. Okay, so we're at, now we're here. Here, we're basically 2 units apart. Okay, now that we're going to, now we're going to graph it. So 0, we start here. Remember, tangent is positive first going up, and then negative going down this way, then up, and down, up, and then we can continue that pattern throughout the whole graph. And that's it. That's all there is to it, guys. So all you got to do, really, here's the trick. I'll summarize the trick, is take whatever that first asymptote was, which is for tangent, pi over 2, okay, for tangent, and divide it by b, and that will give you our new our new um, asymptotes and then you take the and then just make it equal distant equal spaces by a period of whatever you get so let's take a look at a, a phase shift so that's how you change the period let's take, let's take a look at a phase shift. phase shift is actually easier you just take the asymptotes and move them over so let's talk about cotangent so our normal cotangent graph had asymptotes at 0 and pi. Okay, this was our first one, 0 and pi. So we're doing now a phase shift. We look here, we're doing a phase shift to the left pi over 2 units. So all we're going to do, let's, I'm going to, what I'm doing here is I'm drawing my original, okay, these are my original asymptotes for cotangent x. Okay, and you know what I'll do is I'll change the color for blue. I'll do this new one. So this one I'll do in blue. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna phase shift it over pi over two units. So now I am here. I'm gonna phase shift this over pi over two units. So now I'm here. Phase shift over pi over two units. So now I'm here. Okay. So now these are my new asymptotes. We go halfway in between, and for cotangent, we're going to go up this way and down this way. Okay, halfway in between the two asymptotes, up this way, down this way. Halfway in between the asymptotes, up this way, and that's it. All right. Now, if for some reason you had a B here, 
Okay, then you would do the whole trick, negative C over B, that would be your, your, uh, your actual phase shift, and then you would deal with that period of pi over B. Um, you deal with the period first, and then you do your phase shift. But that's all. That's all there is to it, guys. You just take it and move the asymptotes. Again, you're always looking for the halfway point between the two asymptotes. You're going to go up this way, down this way. It's a decreasing function for cotangent, an increasing function for tangent. Here are um, some practice problems for you to do, and the answers, again, are on your whisk. So uh, go, you can sketch the graph of these two here. And then determine the equation. So you're really looking at what are these, what are these uh, vertical asymptotes and how did I change the period for those. Okay, thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.